Mr. Paul here from the Sill Branch Library. And this video is another video about the databases from our website that you can access. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And to access our databases, you go to our website, Garfield County Libraries, which is gcpld.org. And you click on the research tab. And today we're going to talk about tumble books. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom till we get to tumble books. So tumble books um, is a database where you can read animated talking picture books from well-known publishers and authors. Also included are read-alongs, nonfiction books, puzzles, books in French and Spanish even. Um, lots of things that you can do on this database. So I'm going to click access. And this is our home screen for this database. So um, you have different choices. So um, you can look at storybooks. And there's all kinds of categories for that. We have read along books. So these are chapter books and longer books um, for your more advanced readers or just to give the, um, your children a chance to um, experience something a little bit longer. We have nonfiction books, books about true facts, anything from animals to history, biography, Lots of awesome things there. There's even some videos um, from National Geographic. So you've got animals in nature, that's always popular with the kiddos. Um, history, space and technology. So lots of different um, choices for little short videos. And then, um, if you want to learn a different language, we do have some books that are in Spanish and some that are in French. So if you're working on learning languages, that would be kind of fun, or if that's your native language. Another tab here is our playlist. So this is um, books that have been put together into a little playlist. So it just will play one after another. And you have different time periods like 10 minutes all the way up to um, 40 plus minutes of um, different books that your children can read along with or watch. Um, we do have some bilingual playlists. So lots of different things. You can also create your own playlists if you want. And last, there is a tab for puzzles and games. Not very many here, but there are some memory games, so that's kind of fun. And then um, there are some sentence games. So after you've uh, listened to this book, um, then you can try your luck at the sentence games and just kind of helps with um, different sequencing and, and uh, different comprehension of the books that you, um, that your child has listened to. So that's a really fun database. I hope that you get a chance to look at it and um, see all the great things. Um, that it has to offer. And just like all the other databases, you just have to play around a little bit and see what they have to offer. So um, thanks for tuning into this video and we'll see you another time. Thanks. Bye.